What's up, everybody? It's your boy Feebass Usedig back at it again, opening up some more Pokemon product. So today I got something special. I went to Costco to get some groceries, and I stumbled upon these Pokemon tins. So I got this from Costco for around thirty bucks. I initially didn't see this. I thought these were those uh, sanitary wipes that they sell, like Clorox wipes, just because it looks so similar from far away. But these are Pokemon products sold at Walmart. I've never opened up any one of these like metal tins before, so it'll be interesting to see what we get. The, dis it, the description on it just says, you know, st stack them high, you get three booster packs and one coin in each tin. So I have no idea what the tins, like what the, obviously the coins, what the coins are, but no idea what the boosters are either. So. We're gonna pop right into this thing, see how we're doing. Uh, oh my god, oh, there we go, okay. And it's crazy because you don't really know, you don't really look at uh, you know Costco and think, okay, let me get some Pokemon cards. But I have heard that they've been starting to do it more recently. But I've never heard of anyone opening up these or even talking about these tins at Costco. We got grass, water, and electric one. That's kind of strange that they have, you know, they have grass, they have water, and they have electric. Like, you would think they would have fire instead to complete the trio, but it's electric. I guess maybe because it's like Pikachu's on the cover right here, and that makes it better. That Pikachu's kind of ugly, to be honest with you. That's a, that's an ugly looking Pikachu. So I think, which one do I want to save last? But I think we'll start with ugly Pikachu. Move on. Well, the cat's eating right now. We'll do Ugly Pikachu first, then we'll go to Decidueye and end with Lapras. Alright, let us start this off. These tins are really, really light. Like, come on. There you go. These tins are really, really light. Like, they're not heavy. So it feels like, I don't know, 30 bucks for basically 9 tins doesn't really sound that appealing. Okay, so. It's a Zero Aura pin that we've gotten a million times. And then we got, oh, okay. So, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, and then Evolving Skies. Okay, that's interesting. Whoop. Let's open them up. We'll go with Fusion Strike. I think you've had the worst luck with free, uh, Fusion Strike. I don't think I've even opened the ETB for Fusion Strike yet either. But here's the code card. How are you guys liking the new video camera? Are you guys liking it? We all think I got from uh, Best Buy Log Tech. I think it makes the uh, quality better, like just the uh, picture wise. I don't have to worry about it, you know, unfocusing or whatever. Do it like this, and you can see it just fine. All right, here we go. Starting off with a Fighting Energy, Charge Bug. Oh, there we go. Judge. Excadrill, Chansey, Galarian Zigzagoon, Mankey, Clauncher, Growlithe, Grubbin, Electros. Oh, okay. So I guess Grubbin was our reverse rare, and we got our rare as a non hollow Electros. So, nothing. We got absolutely nothing in the first pack. Not off to a great start. 30 bucks for these tins. I don't really know what the appeal is of these, like, you know, these stackable tins, like why people even want these. I prefer like the other tins, like the Galarian Bird tins for Crown Zenith were pretty cool. The design was nice, and so was the artwork. And you get, what is that? I think for 30 bucks you get five packs or something like that, or 25 bucks you get five packs. Can't recall correctly. I'm thinking about doing another video of those in the future. Maybe compare and contrast the American version with the international version of the tins because there's two different kinds of tins. They have different designs. Comment down below if you guys think I should do that. Compare and contrast. See which ones have better pulls. But let's go one, two, three, four. Starting off with a Water Energy, Kindler, Cafe Master, Gabite. Farfetched, Execute, 
Grimer, Clefairy, Bidoof, Versera Parleoin, and a non hollow Tornadus. Nothing on the second pack, too. Alright, we got Evolving Skies. I'm so happy at least we got this pack. Uh, hopefully, they're all Evolving Skies, so we get three packs. But honestly, this is. I'm hoping that we get an EV, an Evolution, primarily the Alt Art Umbreon V Max. That's the one card that we want for this collection. I need this. I want that card so bad. Everyone and their mother has pulled that card. I've been hearing stories. Oh, yeah, I pulled it from the Tyranitar tin. I pulled it from this tin. I got it from a random blister. Everyone's pulling it but me, so we're really hoping to get that in here. Alright, come on, Evolving Skies. Let's get oops, it. There we go. Yeah. Code card. One, two, three, four. Starting off with a fire energy into a scrafty, Ursa Ring, Crystal Cave, Wobbuffet, Ludvisk. We got Dwebble, Hippopotas, Zorua, Reverse Rare Lucky Ice Pop, and Non hollow talent flame for our rare. So we got nothing from Ugly Pikachu. Surprise, surprise. Ugly Pikachu gave us nothing. But that's one tin down. Two more to go. And hopefully, uh, two more chances at Evolving Skies. So let's move on to the Grass Tin. We got yep same okay so yep same thing brilliant stars uh, fusion strike evolving skies and same zero or two so we'll go through the same order this time starting off with fusion strike so let's see I don't know what you can pull from this set either here's the code card Oop. code card one, two, three, four. Starting off with a psychic energy, a schoolgirl, adventurer's discovery, Trevenant, Meryl, Meowth, uh, Muna, Shelmet, Plusol. Reverse Rare Skitty and Non Hollow Huntail. Alright, Fusion Strike bringing us down again. Let's try Brilliant Stars. Hopefully, we'll get something in this one. Yeah, it'd be pretty depressing if we don't get any hits after buying these tens. That would be super depressing. Code card one, two, three, four. Okay. Starting off with a V-Star card, Aurora's uh, Acelera's Premonition, Pot Helmet, Executor, what are you doing Sally? Sally what are you doing? We got Magmar, we got Spirit Tomb, Burmy, Impidimp, Staryu, <laughs> Staryu Reverse Rare, and a non hollow Acremula. Oh boy, that's five packs in a row and you've got nothing. And you complete the jack. Alright, let's go for Evolving Skies. So far, this Costco triple tin pack is not worth the money. There we go. That's just me. Like, have you guys ever tried these ones before? I like, tried getting cards from Costco and were your pulls pretty good? One, two, three, four. If they were, comment down below. If they were bad, tell me what you didn't get. Alright. Starting off with a Water Energy, Fletchender, Lantern, Treasure Energy, Hippopotas, 
Lillipup, Nicket, Bramite, uh, Rock and Roller. Oh, we got the Reverse Red Dialga. Alright, alright, that's something. And we got a Hollow Jump Love. Nothing again. We got we got Hollow, so that's something. It wasn't a total waste, but it's also not exactly ideal. So far, six packs. All we've gotten is a single Hollow. Hoping. Oh, hey, where you going? Where you going, Sally? Sally, no. 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 Yep. All right, and we're back. Cat was messing with the plastic. But last pack, last tin, Lapras. Can she bring it home to us? Let's go, Lapras. I think Lapras was, again, one of the best water types from uh, Gen 1. I don't know anyone who hates Lapras. I think it's just a universal favorite. So that's I like this artwork. And same thing as before. Brilliant fusion and revolving skies with the same Zerora coin. So we'll start off with Fusion Strike again. Honestly, at this point, I'm not expecting anything from Fusion Strike. It's just it's just such a bad pull rate. Uh, let's see what we got. Code card. One, two, three, four. Starting us off with a fighting energy. Swadloon. Cramomatic. Skater's Park. Voltorb. Pansage. Kufant. Gligar. Slugma, Reverse Sand True, and a Hollow Obstagoon. So we got Hollow, but eh, eh, not really what we're looking for. Moving on to Brilliant Stars. Can we get something better in Brilliant Stars? I mean, we haven't gotten a single trainer card, a single full art, a single V card, V star, anything. Code card. One, two, three, four. All right, starting off with a fire energy. Chinchino. Cleansing gloves. Floatso. Piplup. Shroomish. Perlioin. Duskull. Sneasel. Reverser Gabite. I mean, Gibble and. Oh, dude, sweet! Awesome, dude. We got Simisir V. Dude, okay, I'm so, I'm so glad that we got something from this thing and not empty. Like, again, it's not the best V that you would want, but still, it's a V. It's better than nothing. I think this is the exact same V that you get from Crown Zenith, too. But hey, you know what? It's better than nothing. We got a V star. I mean, not v star. We got a V card. Much better than a hollow. And now we're on to the last one of Evolving Skies. I can't wait to open this pack up. Hope I'm praying we get the Alt Art Moonbrion. Ugh, let's come on. Come on. Ugh, come on. It's gonna be difficult. There we go. There we go. Code card. One, two, three, four. Starting off with a Leaf Energy, Snow Leaf Badge, Braviary, Lucky Ice Pop, Lulipup, Bagon, Litleo, Lotad, Scraggy, Reverse Rare, uh, Poply Toad, and a non hollow Drampa. Alright, well, this was a complete bust. I don't know if I'll get these tins again or get products from Costco. I think they have one more, like mini tin set or whatever. 
comment down below if you guys think I should get that. But for what we paid for, all we got was a semi V. So again, at least we didn't go completely empty-handed. But that's gonna do it for today. I want to thank you all for watching until the end. Please like, subscribe, comment, uh, comment down below. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.